Eat fresh on our way to uh, Japan right nice now. Nice to meet you. What are you doing there? Uh, she she gonna rip it up, DJs, break dancers, and I'm gonna go out there and rock the mic like I usually do. Oh no way! That's all, how long have you been break dancing for? Oh, you're DJ, DJ? <laughs> That's cool. How old are you? I'm nine. You're nine? But not like nine, baby nine. Like, she'd tear a DJ's ass apart with that. <laughs> it's not cute. It's skillful. You think you're better than, like, Tyra Hilton or someone? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, probably no Paris is on the <laughs> oh, that's awesome! And what else do you plan to do when you're in Japan? <laughs> that is so dope. And yourself, you're a break dancer, bro. Yeah, break dancer and DJ. Do you do you do it all yeah, at the same time, or you got different sets? Breaking down, man. Like this, talented family, talented family of eight, but six of the kids are definitely ridiculous. That's awesome. Go yeah. by the name of the Monster Kids. Yeah. Monster Kids. Google that. Hello. So dope. Hey, I wanted to ask you about. Did you see the track or the freestyle that Eminem released yes. overnight? What do you think about that, man? Can that can that change stuff? Can that impact us? You know what? I think I think it will. Not just you know because everybody's saying it, but there's when when different voices chime in as well, and you get a voice like Eminem that doesn't just come out and say anything. You know, you don't hear Eminem saying something every week like, oh, it's Eminem again. Yeah. So for him to take that platform and do that, and I love how he took his time. It wasn't just, let me rap over some beats, let me do this. I love how he took his time. Yeah. And BET allowed him to take that time. And he murdered it. Totally. But he's like from Detroit, yes. Michigan. Um, are there gonna be people who live around him who are just like, Screw you. Even them got enough money where nobody's living around him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but I don't think, and you know Eminem, I don't think he's worried. I don't ever see Eminem worried about what somebody else thought about what he was saying. You know what I'm saying? So totally. He'll be, he'll be fine. He said, he said, if you're a Trump supporter, don't bother yeah. listening to my rap. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, you know. <laughs> it's a big call, if you, man. If you stand with him, then, and, and I can understand that. You know what I'm saying? But we saw a lot of, you know, a lot of cats that kind of came out of the real work both for Trump. So, you know, if they are Eminem fans and he don't want you there, then shit, he don't want you there. Would you be prepared to make the same sort of concession? Like, I make it every day. You know what I'm saying? Same I, thing. I have a platform every day. Just that Eminem has a voice, and you, you know, I, I, I didn't see. You know, you get a lot of hype about oh, Khaled is, you know, the, the host and this person doing it. I never knew that him was coming out until about an hour, a couple hours before when it was like something's going on. Totally. Yeah, so it was a great thing for him, man. He did it and he, and he used it well. And he did it. 100%. Yeah. Do, you, do you care if Trump supporters listen to your show? You know what? I, if, if they do it or don't, I still get calls from people that say they voted for Trump or we give Trump a hard time. But we got a public uh, platform. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, if I don't deal or I don't rock with Trump, I don't disrespect or hate someone that listens. If they listen, then we have a common bond. Uh -huh. Our bond is just like, you know, I don't support Trump, you do, then from there on, you know, then we can rock with each other. That's why they say sometimes you don't discuss religion and politics with people. It's just that now politics is so on the tip of your tongue yeah. that, that you got, I've never had so much political talk on my show Hardly in my enough. entire career. Neither of what? <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> There it is. It, it makes you speak about it, you know, and it makes you it makes you have an opinion, you know, because you just, just kind of roll with the punches and you go with it. With this and like, no, you. When Eminem said it well. You got to draw a line in the sand, and that's what we're doing. Right? That's totally right. right. And someone like Eminem maybe can sway opinion, unlike some other people who are right. coming out against and Trump. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes, man, it's not just what you're saying; it's who's saying. It too. He's a powerful young white and male. You see, we're talking about it on TMZ. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope it can change some stuff. You know what, if it don't, we chipping at it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to holler at you, fam. Awesome, I appreciate it. All right, thanks, you. big boy. Nice to meet you guys, too. Have a good time in Tokyo. Thank you, brother. All right, See man. You good luck, guys. Bye.